Loud and proud, let's go. This is the easy part. When you are tired, that's when you have to be mentally right. You ran two miles, that was it. Last week we ran more. The pre-academy training program is a program that Jiggle Boston developed to help prepare individuals who are either going through the process of getting into a police academy or who have an interest in law enforcement and want to know a little bit more about uh, what it takes. It's about really us challenging folks. We take folks out of their comfort zone and then they start learning that they've imposed limits on themselves and now we push them beyond those limits to where now they're realizing, wait a second, I'm better than that. I can accomplish more. This is where you get better. When you're exhausted, when you're tired, this is where you get better. Your mind will give up before your body does. Your mind will give up before your body does. You have to look within yourself to figure out whether or not you really want this. Do y'all understand? Yes, sir. Push through this, work harder. You're getting every single week closer and closer to the goal that you want to accomplish. Right? Yes, sir. This is your goal, not our goal. You guys established that you all want to be police officers. We're just giving you a small taste of what that is. You can see the physical growth and you can see the mental growth. You could tell just by some of them talking to you after the class, hey, thank you so much. You could tell they appreciate it. Some of them have physically lost weight. I wish this was a program that existed when I wasn't a police officer, but I definitely would have joined it. We've now had individuals enter police academies and successfully graduate. They come in fresh, new, no idea what's going on. They complete our program, we continue to mentor them, we continue the relationships, and they come back and they want to volunteer and they want to give back. And then now those individuals are now mentors for the new individuals that are going through the process. Now being an instructor, I'm now giving back what I inherited from the program and trying to motivate these new recruits and, and passing the torch to them as, as well. We're all available. Like, we, everybody has our phone numbers. Even during the PAT, we tell them, reach out. Like, if, you, if they need help, we always encourage them in, in ways that we saw that it helped us. The power that we have as police officers is immense. These students need to understand that it's about making our community better. It's about being a leader in our community. In Boston, the way we've done it has always been focused on community but it is a rigorous, tough job to be a police officer and so important to get that extra help with thinking through all the physical, emotional, mental, and community supports that are needed. This program has an incredible record of results. Well, there's people that have, and for all intents and purposes, failed our program, but have successfully passed an academy. And part of that reason is, is just because someone either fails an academy or fails our program, that doesn't mean that we let them go. We wanna help people grow. We want to see people be successful. We want people to be the change. You get so sick of hearing people telling you to wait, but then there comes a point where you're just like, you know what, it's time to be the change. And I think for us, we reached that point. And if we can continue with that mentality, then ultimately the only people who benefit is our community.